Hey, how y'all doing this afternoon? This afternoon, I'm gonna get out my pressure cooker XL, power pressure cooker XL again. I'm gonna make some wonderful uh, chicken dish. It's a rosemary uh, thyme chicken. Uh, my stepmom's made this before. Kind of took her ingredients and we'll put them together. Except she slow cooks hers for several hours in the oven, in a Dutch oven. And I'm gonna do this in the power pressure cooker XL and show y'all how it's done. It's gonna be really good. I can take this to work for lunch and stuff like that. Really nice, good, healthy dish. And I'll check it out over here. First off, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna start out with um, some vegetables here. I got some cut up carrots. See how I cut them up like that? Just a little angle cut. Um, some nice whole carrots that I peeled. I like to put these probably down here in the bottom. So, we'll just get our whole carrots. Put those in there. I got a big purple onion that I peeled and, and diced up. I'll put some of this onion down there. Uh, I've got some celery that I cut up. I'm going to put some celery down here in the bottom. Just a little bit right there. Okay, now that I got that, we're gonna load the chicken in there. So I cut up some chicken breast chunks, of chicken breast, and I put down here right on top of those vegetables, right? And I marinated that chicken in this Tuscan sun-dried tomato uh, last night. A little bit, I think that'll give it some good flavor. You don't have to marinate chicken if you don't want to. I just want a little extra flavor here. Now that we got the chicken in there, I'm going to go with the, my fresh rosemary I just picked out of the garden. That was about I don't know about four sprigs or so that you know I just take the tender pieces you know pull this off the, the you don't want that woody stuff in there so I'm gonna sprinkle that rosemary over it just like that right over the chicken then I've got some thyme nice fresh thyme here I'll sprinkle that over it as well it's gonna give some really nice flavor okay now that we've done that I'm gonna go back with some more of the celery And you want to make sure you get some of these leafy bits of celery here. And then I'm going to go in with some more of the onion here. Oh, I also got a green onion that I chopped up. Let's put that in there. That'll give us some nice flavor, a little color to it as well. Put some of these onion pieces, stuff in there. The rest of the celery. There we go. So we basically, if you can see, you know, we got just all these mixed vegetables and everything in there on top of the chicken. We got some under the chicken. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of this seasoning right here. Now I'll put a link to where you can get the uh, power pressure cooker XL and these seasonings. All right, so a little bit of that seasoning there. I also want to use my favorite you know, Cajun seasoning. Use this Bezels all the time. So I would say put the Put you about a tablespoon of it in there. And we'll just uh, sprinkle that over the top. This will get down in there good. And I've got about a cup and a half of chicken stock. Go in there with that. Some liquid. And I also have about a cup or a little less than a cup of a nice, you know, white wine. It's going to be good too in there. Pour that in. Then we we'll go ahead and get our lid on here. Alright, so we've got the lid locked. Now I'm going to show you how we'll set this dude. Let me zoom you in here just a little bit. Hopefully you can see. Alright, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select, sl not slow cook, I'm going to do soup stew for this one. Right, and it's set for 10 minutes, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the time up. Let's see, to about 30. No, I don't want an hour. I'm gonna just use 30 minutes, okay? Go ahead and let this thing go for 30 minutes. And what it will do right now, see how that's moving around? That's heating the pot up and getting the pressure right and everything. Oh, you wanna make sure your pressure is closed. Pressure valve over here is closed. So once that heats up, it's gonna cook that for 30 minutes. See how it is? It'll be real, real good, y'all. It's gonna be a good, nice, tasty, and pretty healthy dish for you here. This um, rosemary chicken with thyme and vegetable, kind of a stew, or I'm just gonna kind of serve it over rice. Not really looking to make a gravy or anything. I'm just gonna just cook this chicken and those carrots and all. 
We'll see y'all here in about 45 minutes. All right, y'all. So the rosemary chicken's done cooking now. Um, as you can see, the timer's going down to zero. What we do is take the little, take your tongs, open up the um, little cap here on the back, and let the steam out. The kitchen smells wonderful, by the way. All right, so turn this to open. Grab that. There you go. Right there, and just open, let the steam go out right there. Little slip valve, and then we can open it up in just a second. Oh man, I mean, man, I wish you could smell my kitchen right now. It's absolutely wonderful. Those herbs and the rosemary and all that white wine and all that shit. Oh, still in the air, y'all. It's up. Now the steam's, steam's out. Let's take a look and see what we've got in here. Oh, it looks wonderful, y'all. Oh. I've got a plate with a bed of uh, long grain and brown rice. We're going to serve some of this over give it a try. All right, so uh, get down here. I'm going to get a piece of this chicken. Oh, wow. Oh, it's just... I you able to see how, how tender this stuff is. It's literally just falling apart. Really getting out of here. I mean, look at that. Chicken is just tender as can be, just like butter. I mean, this pressure cooker, I mean, really does it. Great way, you know, when you need a nice, good, healthy meal like this, you don't want to take all day. Look at that. We got some, some of these carrots. Put another piece of the chicken here. That's wonderful. Grab some more carrots down here. A little piece of onion. Be good. That's some good stuff, y'all. I mean, this this is this is nice. So anyway, we we'll enjoy that right there, y'all. So we're gonna cut into this chicken. I'm gonna bring y'all down here and show you how moist and tender this um, pressure cooker XL has made this chicken. And look at this. Right here, just with a fork. It's just fall apart tender right there. I mean, that, that's nice. And, and nice and moist still, too. I mean, look at all the moisture it's got in there. Oh, yeah. Give it a try. Just a little piece of chicken now. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's bursting with flavor. And the carrots, see how they are. Look, perfectly cooked right there. I mean, everything is just really, really nice. Great way to enjoy you know, a healthier style food. Cooked fast, you know, didn't take a lot of time. Mm. You could have put this together, y'all, the night before, all in that pot. You know, maybe you kept the juice out or whatever. And, um, you know, you got home from work or something like that, and just bam, set that sucker to go 30, 45 minutes. I mean, you got a wonderful dinner. Is day one, y'all. Seriously, check the link in the description box where you can get this power pressure cooker XL, and also um, check out you know my other videos, like my channel, subscribe to my channel rather, and thank y'all so much.